Okay, this is a W1FB preamp with its input port terminated with 50 ohm resistor. And you can see the average noise floor. This is the KD9SV preamp with its input port terminated with a 50 ohm resistor. And you can see the noise floor. This is our target signal. It's our target signal. You can see where the noise floor is. This is the W1FB preamp connected to the antenna looking at our target signal. Okay, we switched over to the KD9SV preamp, connected the antenna. Again, looking at our target signal here. You can see the noise floor here. Again, we're using 1024 averaging. This is the W1FB preamp adjusted so its gain is equal to the two W7 IEV preamps. And the W1FB preamp is terminated with a 50 ohm input resistor. And you can see the uh, noise floor. Okay, this is the two W7 IEV preamps in series with the uh, input port terminated with a 50 ohm resistor. And you can see the noise floor here. So I just want to show the uh, all the different preamps uh, that I tested here. Uh, this was the W1FB preamp with its gain set equal to the gain produced by the KD9SV preamp. And that's about 41 dB of gain. And then we also used two W7IUV preamps uh, in my test uh, connected together to provide about 42 dB of gain. Uh, they're fixed gain, not adjustable. Uh, the K, uh, KD9SV preamp definitely um, has uh, a lower noise figure uh, compared to the W1FB preamp with its gain set equal. And uh, it looks like it's also got a uh, uh, slightly better noise figure than the 2W7IUV preamps uh, used in series.